A very warm welcome to Tech Mining. In this video we're going to complete the remaining properties of select items place order page. The two processes created in this step handle the routine to either add a product to the current order step or remove one from it. Source code link is in video description, open part 7 folder to get file used in video. The add member function references the collection to populate it with a new product. The delete member function is just opposite to the add member function. It is called by a link, which carries a remove request. The request is evaluated by a condition set, if the request matches, the selected product is deleted from the order collection. Click the processing tab. Under the processing node, Create a new process. After selecting products for an order you click the next button. This process is associated with the next button. The PL SQL code specified in this process adds new customer and order information in relevant database tables using a few SQL insert statements. After committing the DML statement the process truncates the order collection. Create the following three branches on this processing tab under the After Processing node. After selecting items when you'll click the Place Order button, this first branch will take you to the next wizard page, page 14 created in next video. The buttons referenced in these branches were created in previous video. If you want to cancel an order, this second branch will take you to page 4. With the help of this last branch you can move to previous page. Click the Save Page button to save your work. Click the Run Application button. Using the main menu route, open Orders page. Click the Enter New Order button. Using the existing customer option, select a customer. Click Next. On this order items page. Next to this Air Jordan 6 shoes, click this add button. This message appeared because we've selected the wrong type property, of select items subregion in previous video. Let's configure this issue. Open page 12 in page designer interface. Click select items subregion. Set its type property to show legacy at the bottom of list. Then select PL SQL Dynamic Content Legacy. Input the same code as we did in previous video. This time validation successful message must pops up. Click OK. Click the Save Page button to save this modification.
Refresh your browser's window. Repeat these same steps as we did previously. Now click this add button. This is our current order. Here is its price, quantity, subtotal, and total at the end. Click the add button again for this product. See increase in quantity and total. Add some more products. Observe the change in the current order section. Click this cross sign to remove a product from the current order section. Click this cancel to return to page 4 without saving the order. In the next video, we will going to create the last wizard page of this segment, summary of orders page. Thanks for watching.